our CrossFit Games marches on with the individual action in the clean ladder. I'm Chase Ingram, along with me is Adrian Conway. Mike Arsenault will be on the floor. One round down, two rounds left to go. We've cut down to 20 individual male athletes. The rep scheme drops, the weights go up. That's right, it's gonna be in round two, a double at the first bar at 295, then a single at 305, 315, and 325 pounds. I'd like to welcome our audience in from ESPN2. We've got heavy barbells on the floor and a lot of action here as the 2024 CrossFit Games continues for the individual men. Adrian, what are your go ruck steps to success? Well, all those, although these barbells have gotten heavier, it still remains the same. They've got to grip and rip. With patience, they've got to pull off the ground, but they've got to set up immediately and go. And then the second step is that power pays these athletes who can receive the bar that much higher in the bottom of their squat than their competitors will get up faster. Your lane assignments in heat number one. We only have two heats. We're cutting down to 10 athletes from 20. Over in lane number five, Pat Vellner, who is currently sitting in fourth place and opened the weekend with a 33rd place finish. He is now just 20 points out of a podium position. Patrick Velno has a history of this chase. He, start, he starts a little bit slow and just builds steady momentum. He's very well-rounded overall. Let's see if he can continue to chip away one step at a time toward the podium. And the man just one point behind him in fifth is Jason Hopper, who already has an event here, event win here this weekend. Yeah, let's see how he chooses to receive a few of these lifts. He's finished late with squat cleans. Let's see if he picks up with power cleans or if he catches it low out the gate. Heat one underway, two reps, starting at 295, which was the last weight in the previous round. After this, it's one single all the way down. Pat Bellner in the center lane in all black, fourth place overall, hits the bar. Now he'll advance to 315. Pat Bellner all alone in the middle, Jason Hopper just behind him. Pat Bellner, Jason Hopper, separated by one point on the leaderboard. It's huge if he hits it and he does. Bellner's in, Hopper's in. And I tell you what, it's night and day from round one to round two. They had to get warmed up, Chase. You had to give them some reps. Come on now. They're feeling better, honestly. They're further removed from the 1,000 steps that they just did. They've gotten the physical arousal to touch the heavy weights. Their central nervous system is primed and they showed here into round two. Samuel Quant, last athlete left on the floor, 325 pounds on the barbell. Time caps, two minutes. And Quant will get it. And I'm very surprised about how well that looked. It was more of what we were going to expect. We did not exactly see that in round one with the lighter weights. No, it was almost as though the metabolic effect of that first two barbell set where they went touch and go and went really fast affected them worse for the 295. But both these men, Pat Vellner and Jason Hopper, were smooth through their execution, but it was Pat Vellner that was going to be able to edge out Hopper in his way to a first place finish in this heat. Pat Vellner sets the new time to be 34-35. Behind him is Jason Hopper at 35-27. Five seconds ahead of the third best time in a heat. Now keep in mind, we have 20 athletes. We've already had 10 down. We have one more heat left to go with 10 athletes. The top 10 move on. Let's go down to Mike Arsenault. Thanks, guys. I have a question for you, Adrian. We covered technique, squat versus power clean in that heat. I want to talk footwear, because if you look at the 10 athletes who just competed in the first semifinal, five had lifting shoes on and five had regular training shoes. Just curious, what are the positives and negatives of each type of footwear? Yeah, absolutely. An, an Olympic weightlifting shoe, Mike, is going to have more of a raised heel. This is going to help athletes that tend to excel in a squat position. It keeps their torso more upright and their hips directly underneath their shoulders. And the athletes that choose to wear flats or regular tennis shoes tend to be more pulling biased, which means they like their heel close to the ground. It's going to engage their glutes or hamstrings and their low back a touch more through the execution of the lift. I myself was always a flat-footed individual. I wanted to get on those tennis shoes and give myself a chance to receive the bar as high as I can in a power clean. One heat down in round number one as we are in round number two of the clean ladder. 
as we have 10 athletes left, starting with two reps at 295. Then we have one rep at 305, 315, and 325, as your fastest 10 men in the round one are taking the floor. And Ricky Garrard in lane number four, we saw him laboring greatly this morning on Chad, but he had a bounce back round in round number one. You see this type of thing from athletes often, Chase, not just in our sport, but in any sport, where they have a bit of a setback, you wonder if they're going to return. And then ultimately, Ricky steps on the floor. He's ultra-focused now. He's going to be dialed a little bit more in his technique. This could be something that could accelerate him through the, the through this ladder and other events. Ultra-focused, but even more ultra-confident after that success in round number one. And the fastest time in the first round was Travis Mayer. First appeared to the Cross of Games in 2013, father of four. But one of your keys to success is grip it and rip it, and that basically is Travis Mayer's middle name. Absolutely. He's got a unique ability to have very high power output, especially off the floor. He's great at hinging and pulling from this position that is demanded of them in this clean ladder. Dallin Pepper, fittest man in America last year at the 2023 CrossFit Games. Currently sitting in seventh overall, about 30 points out of a podium position. This is another athlete you need to look out for in this event. Only 10, the top 10 times only, will advance. And we saw in the previous round, the last group was actually the slowest group. That's right. And Dallin Pepper has tremendous self-awareness. Although he's 22 and one of the younger competitors in our field, he's a three-time games champ in the team division. And what that allows for is that he knows what it takes to win. He understands himself, and he's going to compete head-to-head, -head, but he's going to handle his business in order to have success on the other end of that competition floor. Ricky Garrard, bottom part of your screen, just above him is Brent Fikowski. Brent Fikowski is sitting in third overall. Second heat, top 10 athletes coming out of round number one, two reps at 295. A lot of singles, a lot of power cleans. Right side of your screen, moving forward is Austin Hatfield, who had a mistake in the first round as he ran to the wrong bar. But the man with the 400-pound clean is making his way down the floor with a clean run here in round number two. Austin Hatfield, power clean, 325, and there he goes. That is the Hatfield we've been waiting for. The last heat in the first round was the slowest, and that is not the case here because we're seeding based off who can clean the fastest. We reshuffled, and that was an electric heat. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit earlier, Chase. Even in the buildup of today, we were like, hey, we know Austin Hatfield's a rookie. We know that he may not have a great showing building up in single modality or specialized events. But when it comes to CrossFit, mixed modal, and then even heavy barbells, this is a jam. A listed clean of 400 pounds. It's on his IG. Go follow him online. <laughs> With a little bit of a hippity hop. Is that what he did earlier, Chase? Hey, listen, man, man's a rabbit farmer, so you're going to see some heavy cleans and some tending the rabbits. That's all I'm going to say out there. Austin cool. Hatfield. What a performance with one more round to go as we're going to take the 20 athletes that advance into round two and we'll take the top 10 on time only into the third and final round. And here who is moving on, Austin Hatfield. This is your heat two results, 27-48. Travis Mayer underneath 30 and Jack Rosma in your top three. And we'll take a moment here to figure out that one, Austin Hat.